Afternoon all, hope you're well. Well, today I've been mainly grinding out the stern. That was a bit I was going to regret because the access is poor. I'm sure I said it a million times before. Well, at transom wood, I don't know, go down the bottom. So that's because there's a gap here. Gap here. That's awkward to get in. But that actually been too bad. The little belt belt sand that the old chap bought has really paid off dividends. It's also like there, you're never gonna get a grinder in it. But you can see I'll grind that out and that fit in there lovely. Just go up and down along and let's grind that slot out. So I'm, I've now got no gel coat in that section. So when the new floor go in and come to here, I can then go down and tie it in nicely. And obviously that Look at the edges there on that one. I just took a, I had to take one of the bolt, a bolt out of the stern of the boat to grind up to six inches. That was when this boat used to have two eight boards on the back, but now when you got one, so there, like, see there's two holes there, there for the old eight board. But there was two, now there's only one. And to be honest, speed wise, that had twin 40s on it years and years ago, and now it's got a, single eight board and that's the same speed on a single mono hull boot like this one ain't got enough width to separate them not like a cat you share the water too much but we always leave them holes in the back there because if you ever want to do work on the keel shoe or the keel bands we use them holes to bolt stilts in so you can keep the bow off the floor and there's nothing in the way you've got two wooden stilts and we same that side too, we have two stilts coming down the back of the boat each side and that hold the stern off the ground so you can work underneath it safely. But obviously I've got to overlap that far so I've had to come out. So all I've got to do now is grind out that section there and grind out that little bit in there using the belt sander and hopefully that should be the last of the grinding. You see that's all, you see that's all ground out now. So after I've finished grinding that out, all I've got to do is have a good sweep up and then sand the floor down. And then, then we move on to more positive bits, putting stuff back in. Can't wait for that. This grinding job's horrendous. Well, that's all ground out now. That's looking lovely. I can now, I ain't got to worry about anything. I can just stick the needle plast on top of that and glass it all around it just encapsulate the lot that'll also tie in the transom wood back to the floor again how it should have been well I won't just have to do I had a look at this knee in the back there was all glass lifting that bolt there or nut and that nut there got all the way through the hull because the infill of wood underneath it because on these orkneys they're cut away, well, it ain't no good for beach launch and trailers because they'll get to in two foot in the trailer, drop down, and hit the engine and the arse end of the boat on the trailer. So we always put it in full of wood in them. But obviously, that's all glass over the lot, so I got in with a little sander and got in there and ground all that out, all the way along. It looked like there's been a few bit of repair work. Then again, my old chap. We'll place that bit of wood underneath there because when the boat come out it was crap so it must have been we'll put the glass on it <laughs> dodgy shady glass layer that all that the lift awful but then again i reckon the, the glass was wet then when he bought it well, there's a couple more things to do like when i swept up that's the inside of the bilge keel that's got like a really hard resiny foam in it i don't know what it is there's a couple of bits come out, but where the glass went all around it, that's all lifting a bit, so I've ground the lot away. I've left a little bit of glass in on top of the foam, so I don't really want to disturb that, because I don't know what it is, but it's hard. So I'll, I'll then glass over the bilge. And the same on that side. That part was nice and hard and firm, but as you see, this bit is all crappy, so I'll ground all that out too. Yes, you see, see that there. I don't know what it is. 
feel like some sort of hard resin, but if you poured that much resin at once, surely that would heat up so much and cause a few issues, unless they poured a little bit at a time, I don't know. But then along the centre of the boat again, I've gone along with a sander and cleaned all that out. That's now pretty clean. I've got to say that belt sander, that is worth as weight in gold. I'm not, I know I talked about it a lot, but if you do this sort of work often, just buy one. For getting in them little grooves, that's lovely. Look, get it right in there, clean it out, because the, cause the end is round. Look, see there, because the end is round, it's lovely, made a lovely chamfer there and a lovely chamfer there. That really is a good bit of kit. All that is all chamfered out lovely, with a nice radius, it's a perfect radius for glass and up on. So I'm happy with that. Oh, just hit me head on the bloody lean to. But now all the grinding's done. Tomorrow's job is just get my orbital sander out and I'll go over the whole floor. Just take all the, well, I'll, I'll hoover it first to get all, most of the dust off. Then I'll go over the whole floor and see all these traces of old resin there was on the surface and all the old glass. I'll go over the whole lot, clean that and key it all up. Take all the muck and dirt off the surface. So when I put acetone on it, that's all nice and clean. And it'll rejuvenate the glass and hopefully melt the edges of the glass so the new glass will stick to it. You obviously got to put a bit of acetone on, one as a good cleaner and two to rejuvenate the glass so new stuff will stick. Because obviously when we pull this floor up, most of that had come away and delaminated, but I think I'd done it over 20 years since the old chaps had it. It's just got worse and worse and we ain't really known until it started cracking around the edges and water started coming out. And cut the bits of floor went soft. So I think they've been breaking down for a long time. So that will need a good sand tomorrow. And then that'll be ready to cut the foam and put the foam in. Start laying up. That's a horrendous job sanding. Why boat builders do boat building for a living, I don't know. But there you go, it is. So that's it. Another day done. And that's looking far better. So sanding tomorrow, and then whether I get all the sanding done tomorrow, I don't know. But then it'll be uh, cutting the foam out to fit in the bottom. Making up new stringers. I can't wait to start laying up because then the end will be in sight. I ate all this grinding out. It was awful. Horrible job to do. But it's got to be done. We couldn't find a small boot builder to do it. They're all busy. The guy at Tactile, he just had a new, he was going to do it, but then he had a new order come in, so he couldn't, and that's understandable. When you've got a brand new build coming in, you've got to take that in you. At the end of the day, that's your livelihood and that's your boots. But there are probably a couple of boot yards would have done it, but they wouldn't have charged money like him, they'd have charged top dollar. We've got a few boot yards around here, but I reckon I've been six, seven grand to do this floor, and that's a lot of money to spend on a little boot in it. Well, that's me finished for the day. R5. Time to go home, have a cup of tea and a shower, get rid of all this dust. But that's looking far better now. And that might be now in a positive place than what it was when we cut all the floor out. There's another another half a bucket of dust today. So we're growing that hell of a lot of old, old and loose glass, but what's the point in leaving old loose glass in? you got to get it all out and start afresh, haven't you? Oh, I'm happy to see the end of this. Well, a couple of people asked us where we got our fiberglass from. We got it all from GRP UK Limited. They were very reasonable, like this need a plus sheet, 20 mil, was 45 quid plus VAT a sheet for an 8 before sheet. That's half the price for anywhere else. They're real good value. All right, they don't do tiny amounts because they're mainly a wholesaler, not a retailer. But if you want any good amounts of glass, that's worth buying. They done us, done us a deal cheap, forty five quid plus VAT a sheet, a twenty mil needle plus. Well, that's nearly double that anywhere else, isn't it?